We speculated very early on that the work orders were going to add some really nice flavour to professions, giving players access to request some custom-built items using materials that they acquired through play, and for crafters a fairer chance at selling items over what is often a rather aggressive cancel scan environment in the auction house. We also suspected that it would probably not be the greatest method for making gold as the buyer gets to tip what they see fair, but accepted this as it would offer other benefits such as helping you to level up your profession by filling orders, and so this was fine as an alternative. And that for me is the key element here, as an alternative. It felt like work orders should offer that second option for both crafters and buyers of crafted items. If what you feel is listed on the auction house is a bit too expensive, or there's not the exact item you're looking for, place a work order and have a crafter make it for you. This adds that quality of life factor for everybody involved, and goes to directly counteract two of the biggest complaints that we've seen in Shadowlands. We've all heard the legendaries are too expensive complaint, and equally, the I post items on the auction house and they never sell. So why do I have these concerns, and what's changed since the first draft of work orders on paper to what we are now seeing on the alpha? The big concern for me is it's not being implemented as a choice, but it's being implemented as the only way to acquire certain items. Through some basic testing of a handful of the different professions, we can already see that nearly anything of significant value is bind on pickup now removing the ability for a crafter to make it and list it on the regular auction house. The only way you get that item if you don't possess the profession or the skill to make it is to look to buy one from the work order system. In theory, this would be fine if it wasn't for some of the significant drawbacks that the work order system presents at a fundamental level. Firstly, work orders aren't guaranteed. You could place a work order and not have it filled and have absolutely no idea why. Was it because the tip was too low? Was it because I didn't provide enough of the materials to craft it? Was it because there's nobody skilled enough to make it yet? Was it because the crafters who are skilled enough to make it had already used their quota of crafts for the day? There's going to be no feedback for buyers when your order's not filmed, and this is likely to cause a lot of frustration and annoyance. Secondly, orders take time, especially if you're putting your order out on the public marketplace. There is little to no way of knowing how long it might take for your order to be filled. If you're lucky, it could be two minutes if a crafter happens to be online and spot it straight away. It could be two hours if you're placing an order in the off-peak hours, or even two days. You have literally no idea. Sure, you can set an expiry time on the order, similar to how you would when you list an auction. 12 hours, 24 hours, 48 hours. But who in their right mind wants to place an order and for it to take more time rather than less, especially in a world when this is your only way to get that item. Now both of these significant drawbacks are pretty easily resolved and are actually already implemented in the game right now. It's called the auction house. When you buy something from the auction house, it's instant. You know how much it's going to cost, you can see the exact item that you're buying, and importantly in Dragonflight, at what quality. The item is can instantly be collected from the mailbox and everybody is happy. This needs to continue to be the alternative. When presented with the choice of either buy it now off the auction house with it maybe costing a little bit more or maybe it's not the exact setup that you'd like that item to be or take your chances, wait a little while but get the exact item that you want by placing an order. You've got to let players choose. Some will go one way, some will go the other. But if every single craft of any significant value becomes bind on pickup, that choice is removed. To expand on this a little further, we can look at what's changing in regarding the crafting of high-end items. Now we've already seen for some early testing that there are frequently bind on pickup materials that are also needed when crafting high-end items. Now this is already a limitation enough for crafters to prevent them from industrializing their professions and just crafting 10 of every item in the game and then strangle holding the auction house via cancel scanning, similar to what we saw with legendaries. These high-end materials are going to require some participation in high-end content to even acquire a select and probably controlled quantity of them. 
Most crafters at best might only periodically be able to craft an item and sell it on the auction house in the first place, and many will frequently look for others to fill orders with with their own materials alongside this to make the effort feel worthwhile. But if, as a crafter, your only method to sell these is via the work order system, because the item that you're crafting is bind on pickup, it really begs the question of if it's even worth the effort spending the time and probably the gold levelling up these professions. Now the more crafters that feel that the effort is not worth it, there'll be less people to fill the orders, only increasing the aforementioned issues with the work order system. I tend to think the solution to all of this is quite simple. Let the auction house be the auction house. Let the work order system sit alongside it as a secondary option for players. We already know that raiders and high-end players are going to be slightly put out by the fact that these bind-on pickup crafting materials, which they'll acquire through raiding, mythic plus and pvp, which to them are basically vendor tokens, is going to be a slight frustration anyway to convert that item, to convert that material, that token, to the desired item because now they're going to have to go through the work order system and be at the mercy of crafters. You can see that season 4 is basically a trial run for this. Kill boss, gain tokens, exchange for gear. This is going to be no different in Dragonflight other than that vendor is going to be switched out for the work order system. I worry we'll very quickly hear the cries of bring me back my vendors or why can I not just buy this from the auction house. To elaborate further, I do kind of worry that in recent history, any time we've seen Blizzard force players to engage in a system or a feature of the game that they'd rather not, it very quickly creates a negative view towards that system. Take Torghast for example. On paper, it was a great little fun mini game within World of Warcraft. But by the way, if you want to stay on curve with your player progression, you're going to have to play this at least twice a week per character. They did the same with Island Expeditions. The most effective way to gain player power levels for your artifact neck was to run Island Expeditions 12 hours a day, ultimately killing the enjoyment of the feature. Now this probably wouldn't be the best example if it wasn't for the simple fact that crafting is improving in Dragonflight. Crafting is going to be able to make up to mythic raid quality gear, so there's absolutely no way that most players will not want to get their hands on some of this. So to summarise, the work order system is not a bad system, and this is by no means a suggestion for it to be heavily changed or even scrapped. This is really a suggestion that it is not strong enough to stand out as the only option. It needs to be the alternative. It needs to be that custom order system to facilitate that percentage of the player base that either wishes just to min-max their gear or maybe they want to wait a little while to get the item but save a bit of gold in the process. It needs to be the simple way for crafters to level up their profession without having to fight that competition on the auction house. Sure, maybe they won't make as much gold, but they'll have a far easier time doing so. If you go as far as to make every valuable craft bind on pickup, this is going to force players to use a system that can never be optimal. It likely is going to strip a lot of the desire for players to bother with professions, and might ultimately kill the profession revamp as the fourth pillar of play before it's even had a chance to get going. Which to me at least would be a real shame, because with some early testing of the professions they look really good. I like the quality system, I like the spec trees, I like the gameplay elements around collecting the patterns and levelling them up, but the fundamentals of professions need to be maintained. If there's practically no way to utilise these professions, to craft items to then sell to make a bit of gold with, most won't bother, and if most don't bother, there'll be nobody filling the orders, and if nobody's filling the orders, the entire, the entire system just becomes pointless. Bind on pickup materials are bad enough, but making all the crafted items bind on pickup as well I think is one step too far. The work order system will never have the convenience that the regular auction house does, so making it the only option, in my personal opinion, is a bad idea. I'd love to know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. If you want, you can come and catch me testing the alpha over on my stream over on twitch.tv forward slash Manthius. Feel free to come say hi and we can discuss this a bit further. Remember to give this video a like if you enjoyed it and consider subscribing if you're new around here. But I've been Manthius and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.